Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. Thank you for watching. We are American citizens and we are no longer silent about the destruction of our nation's economy and values by the liberal left. The Tea Party and other conservative men and women are winning victories and pushing back the tyranny that threatens our freedom. And the tyrants are furious. Confrontation is inevitable. Here's the latest. Teamster President Jimmy Hoffa was on stage in Detroit introducing President Obama where he effectively called for war on the Tea Party. Hoffa shouted, we've got to keep an eye on the battle we face, a war on workers, and you see it everywhere. It is the Tea Party. And then Hoffa looked at President Obama and said, President Obama, this is your army. We are ready to march. Let's take these sons of bitches out. Now to take somebody out generally means to kill them or cripple them. The head thug is openly calling for violence against Tea Party members. During the Obamacare debate, we saw union thugs attack and beat up a black Tea Party member in St. Louis. The attack was captured on several video cameras and show the union thugs using racial slurs and telling their victim, that's the union way. And you know what? That is the union way. Intimidation and violence has been a tool used by the lawless union members for many years to get their way, and they will not allow Tea Party victories to continue without turning their aggression towards us. Now, as the 2012 elections approach, there will be town hall meetings and public gatherings that we Tea Partiers have to be at. That is where the enemies of America and values will try to silence us, violently if necessary. Some in the Democrat Party are encouraging this. Michael Capuano, a Massachusetts Democrat, fired up the union workers by saying, every once in a while you got to get out in the streets and get a little bloody when necessary. They are definitely looking for a fight. Well, they're not going to back down, and neither are we. This nation has a long, proud history of fighting for freedom and against tyranny, and it's our turn to carry the flag. The Tea Party will soon be tested by those who want to break us and strip us of our freedom of speech. Now, not all union members are lawless. Most are respectable American citizens. So I have a question for the members of the Teamsters Union. Does Jimmy Hoffa really speak for you? Does the Constitution of the United States really take a backseat to the union? If you believe in American freedom, you better speak up and quickly, or else the lawless members of your union may soon be taking baseball bats to American citizens because they stand for American freedom. I never thought I would see the day when you would be forced to choose between liberty and justice for all or being a union member. But possibly that day is here. This is Wild Bill for America saying thank you for watching and God bless America again.